It is 4 p.m. We're bringing you developing news. And the stories behind the headlines. This is StoryCon. I'm Patrick Paez. And I'm Ed Lingao. Some stories are watching this Tuesday, July 23. The Central of Philippine offshore gaming operators will continue despite President Marcus's announcement of a total ban. Senator Risa Antipero says the inquiries will seek accountability and stronger policy regulations. Meantime, the Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Commission is confident that a end quote, good number of POGOs would, uh, would voluntarily leave the Philippines now that they are banned. Typhoon Karina slightly intensified over the Philippine Sea. It was spotted or last spotted some 320 kilometers east of Basco Batanes, where signal number two has been hoisted. Signal number one is raised over areas now being flashed on your screens. The western part of Luzon will also experience showers due to the southwest monsoon enhanced by Karina. Down south, the Cebu Archdiocese is staging a prayer rally against absolute divorce against the absolute divorce bill on July 27. It says the event intends to protect the family and sanctity of marriage. All afternoon masses will be canceled on the day of the rally. The Philippines, along with the Vatican, is the only country where divorce is still illegal. Now joining us today, Ana Marie Pamintuan, Editor-in-Chief of the Philippine Star and StoryCon's resident political pundit, Ronald Yamas. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Happy Hindi Tuesday. siya napaka-happy, no? Lasa Maulan ulan, masyado, ha? napakalakas Lasa ng ulan. At daming nagbabaha. Kahit sa metro nila, nagbabaha eh. Oo. Oh, maulan na Basta. hapon. Maulan na hapon, ah. Ami. I'm, I'm surprised, Hi, but ma maraming natumbang mga poste at saka mga puno. Malakas ba yung hangin, Bok? Hindi nga eh. Hindi. Huh? <laughs> ulan lang, malakas. Mahina, mahina oh. siyang bagyo. Oh. So, marami, lang, marami lang ulan. Pero from Butchoy daw to Karina, wala na pa tayo. Mm. Uh, as of now, as of now. Oh, nga, may natumba rito ko na eh. Ba't rito? Meron. Uh, Tsaka may mga punong natumba oh. ako nakikita. So, uh, so I was wondering mm. if, the, if the winds were strong. Hindi malakas eh. Siguro Elmer siglo gamit. Ewan ko lang. Wala lang malakas. <laughs> Maraming lugar sa Manila, baha. Mm. Yung Banawe, baha na. Mahina, mahina yung signals kasi yung signals based on wind. Yeah. yeah. Di ba? Right, right. yes. Mahina yung wind. Pero tuloy-tuloy yung ulan. Tuloy-tuloy yung ulan. So, kaya ayan, baha-baha. So do we, maraming inaanod nga. So do we have maraming an explanation? Maraming inaanod. Bok, yeah. do we have an explanation bakit uh, madami yung buhos ng ulan? You know naman, they say sometimes, ano, uh, naihigop ng uh, bagyo, mm. yung uh, mm. habagat na galing, uh, galing South China Sea or something like that. I don't, I haven't been monitoring the weather news, ano, but... Uh, I don't know what explanation we have for this. Tignan mo ang cloud cover, oh. Very wet. Grabe yung cloud cover all over Luzon. Oh, napaka-dilim eh. Kaninang umaga. And we're seeing something coming from the, ano, the habagat side, Bok. Oh, from the left side, oh. So, makaya na nagpapasok mo. Kaya nyo ba i-zoom ito? Hindi. We'll pata i-zoom ito. Kaya, Ami, medyo kumonti yung rally ng Maisug. Dahil daw sa ulan. Oo nga eh. May sisisihin na sila. Yun. <laughs> eh, sinabayan naman ng release ng video, no? Yung controversial video na iniimbestigahan na ngayon. Eh, kamo ka ba? Ano tingin nyo? Kamo ka ba? Sabi ni E.S. Barsamin, mukha daw koreano, di ba? Medyo malabo nga yung ano. Sabi nga nito, Medyo kamukha, blur. kamukha daw ng batang Kim Jong-un. Uh, and I don't understand Ayun the hair part, ano. but, but parang it was like, uh, weird eh? uh, pinental pen or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> parang no. di AI. Kasi AI would probably have done a better job. So, parang kinamay eh. <laughs> Eh, anyway, iniimbestigahan ngayon yun. Yeah, yan ang mga isa sa mga stories ngayon. Baka mag-file ng mga kaso. We don't know. Yeah, but the other controversial <coughs> thing I think here is, ano eh, uh, yung una nag-react at yung pinakamalakas ang, ang, ang reaction was from DND. Yeah, I mean, why? I mean, why? of all departments, hmm. diba? Uh, why the DND? Why not PCOO? Or, DOJ? Or DOJ. Hmm. DOJ man lang. Diba? Oh, why uh, why DND? DND? And plus, ang, ang, uh, ang linya ngayon, at least uh, as, as of last night, was it a, it's, a, it's part of a destabilization. <coughs> So, meron kayang gustong patunguhan ang, uh, ang reaction ng gobyerno. Uh, maybe that's why the DND reacted. Kaya nga eh. Maybe. Uh, we can maybe. ask our guests oh. later kung anong... But, but yeah, to your point, normally uh, it would be if, if, if at all they had to react, because Ronald here has a different mind, no? Ah. If they all had to react, shouldn't it have been the PCO or the DOJ maybe, no? The Justice Department? A very junior <coughs> government official ang dapat mag-react. Hindi dapat mga cabinet secretary dahil maharli ka yan eh. Maharli ka yung nag, uh, naglabas eh. Diba? Nagkaroon pa sila ng uh, party sa Los Angeles. 
Napanood mo ba yung mm. watch party? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Parang oh. yung party pa sila. So, dapat yung papatol dyan, hindi ganun kaseryoso. Pero ang sabi kasi ng ni Nick Secretary Gibocho Doro, it's part nga of destabilization. And I guess the fact na ang isa sa mga nag, nag-post eh, si Harry Roque, <clears throat> eh, alam, alam naman natin yon And then, nag, nag, ano nga, nagkaroon ng confluence of events, nakita naman natin, binoykot ng lahat ng Duterte yung Sona. And not, not only the sons, the daughter, the father, pati si Senator Bato de la Rosa and Senator Bongo, wala ron eh. Siguro nagkahalo-halo na yung mga suspecha. Kaya si... si, si Di hindi sumagot na destabilization at sinigundahan din ng DILG si Secretary Ben Hur. Sinabi rin niya na baka nga part yung inimbestigahan nga nila. Apart from denying, of course, na sabi nga nila peki daw yung, Pero yung, yung ang, video. Pero yun ang gusto nila, Ami, eh. Yun ang gusto nila na mag-respond yung mga high-ranking government officials. Hmm. Lalo na yung Secretary ng DILG tsaka Tsaka DND, mm. mga kanyan eh, mga primus inter pares eh. Halos kanyan eh, little mm. presidents eh, di ba? So, pag sila ang mm. nag- nag-respond, medyo masaya sila maharlika. Mahala, ma- masaya si Mr. Supranational. No? Masaya sila pag... pag uh, dapat, <coughs> dapat, na mag- oh, so. dapat na mag-respond dyan, Chigura. medyo junior lang muna. Siguro, Ch- mm. Ronald, hiningan na naman namin ano, ng mga media. <laughs> Kasalanan na naman yan. I'm sure humingi ng reaction ng mga <laughs> yung bawat bitch yun eh, yung mga journalist eh. Because I mean, no, co- correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we've heard about yeah. these rumors circulating about a so-called video, but we yeah. in media wouldn't have crossed this over to as part of mm. our news kung hindi nag-react yung mga opisal. Yes. So, it would have stayed there <laughs> in the world wide web in the internet. Parang right? yung Hello Garcy with Bunye. Right. Going back to that incident, oh. Hello Garcy. Di ba hindi naman natin papatulan yun o hawakan niya? Like we never oh. uh, reported on this uh, uh, The wiretap. The Delima video. Oh, the Delima the, 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 the oh. video. We all know. Okay, we're talking about, about it now. The hmm. urban legend siya. At nanatili siyang urban legend dahil wala naman talagang pinakita. Wala ano, last legend. year pa kasi nila sanabi yung papalabas siya. Eh. Oh. Tapos dahil yung, uh, hindi lumalabas, pulburon na, pulburon. we wouldn't touch it. We na, weren't touching it. Nawala na yung value niya at naging urban legend na siya. At ngayon lumabas, parang walang traction. Eh. Ang, nag, ang nagbigay lang ng traction, yung statement ng mga high-ranking government officials. Yun yung nagbigay ng traction. Hmm. So, at saka you, you think it was... nga nila Harry Roque. So you think, Ronald, that dapat sa mga ganyang kaso, hindi na pinatulan? Hindi na. Or kung may papatol man, para lang for the record, may sumagot, a low level. A low level. Hindi yung primus inter pares. Hmm. Ano, ano yung low level? Parang ano? Parang vlogger. Uh, parang vlogger. Parang, parang, eh. parang, <laughs> <laughs> parang dapat vlogger lang ang buka. Oo, halimbawa, si, si Nieto, si Thinking Pinoy, yun ang pinasagot ko yung sagot mo. Dahil mutual naman yung disgust nila sa isa't isa eh. Kaya mahal ka, so... <laughs> <laughs> eh, paano nga kinukulit nga ng mga media? Ito, kita mo talaga. Kinukulit eh. Mga media talaga, mga media talaga makukulit. Si E.S. Barsamin, inambush lang eh. Doon sa, doon sa sona eh. Uh-huh. Kaya sumagot. Sabi nga niya, makukuryano yan. Kaya, well, kaya well, siya sumagot. Well, remember Ami, the last time uh-huh. kinulit, <laughs> kinulit si Barsamin. Ah, the last kinulit. Oo, oh, ano, misunderstanding. Nagkaroon ng misunderstanding at accident. Hindi ba natuto, no? Oo. Diba? <laughs> Isa ba yung misunderstanding yung story nga about China? Wala pa lang ganung ano no agreement yung sinasabi ng Chinese embassy dinina dinina ng DFA. Ano ba yan? Hindi <laughs> <Ay, dinay> na <laughs> yung detalye nag- pero meron silang ano meron silang uh, tentative uh, what's yeah, uh, no, uh, no. provisional provisional agreement uh, yeah. uh, that's the yeah. term coming uh, out uh, from our yeah. Department of Foreign Affairs is provisional agreement at uh, walang detalye kasi yung sa mm-hmm. DFA side yes. <laughs> eh and China yeah. nagbigay ng detalye kaya na kaya na magpaalam kaya na yun ang dinidinay na makapreposed sila yun tamang tamang guest natin ngayon 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 sakto sabi pa liwanag si our guest for this afternoon, <laughs> not na, timing si sir, eh. Assistant Director General Jonathan <laughs> Malaya of the National Security Council. Sir, magandang hapon and thank you for joining us. Oye, okay, tanong natin. Magandang hapon, yes, Yusef. Uh, ADG yes. Malaya, yes, tan- tanong natin bakit walang detalye yung, yung, yung statement ng Department <laughs> of Foreign Affairs other than calling it a provisional agreement. 
Well, it was part of the discussion. Now, it will not be disclosed to the public. No, it was, it was part of the discussion between the PRC delegation and the Philippine delegation. Na wag na muna ilabas ito mga kasunduang mm. ito. And give it a chance to work first. No? Okay. And um, later, pag nakita natin yung sincerity of both sides, and then we will be able to release those uh, details. Pero it was intentional on the part of both parties. Pero sir, uh, naglabas ng detaling China uh, hmm. that we're contesting. So ano talaga from our end? Uh, I, I suppose we can talk about it now kasi may, may, may parig na in China. I think we have to give our side now. <laughs> Lalo na, Yusek, oh. parang ang dating, parang uh, it's the same... Uh, uh, framework para do sa secret agreement no? or gentleman's agreement yes. or a new model. Ganun yung spin, ganun uh, yung spin yung in China. Kinasibak ni Westcom. Oh. Right. Ganun yeah. yung spin no. in China. Actually, we were actually we were very actually masaya nga tayo because um, this was not a one shot deal. Itong itong negotiations with the Philippines that began during the with China that began during the bilateral consultation mechanisms. Mahaba-haba din yung dina, pinagdaanan noon, no. There was a lot of back and forth between both sides kasi nga hindi magkaintindihan. And finally, nagka-breakthrough tayo over mm -hmm. the weekend. So we were very optimistic. Uh, di na ba naglabas ang statement ang DFA mm -hmm. uh, last uh, Sunday uh, that there has that a uh, provisional agreement has been agreed upon regarding the Ayugin Shoal resupply. It came out after a lot of consultations. So um, ang expectation ng Pilipinas, uh, i-reciprocate yung China, yung ganong klaseng uh, optimism and uh, desire for the escalation kasi uh, to be honest about it is China rin naman yung nag-insist na mag-meeting no coming from the June 17 uh, raw remission na nakita ng buong mundo yung ginawa nila dun sa ating mga tropa it was China that said o sige mag-uumupo na tayo so uh, nabigla din kami when we saw the statement coming from Beijing MOFA no kaya uh, I immediately uh, talked to DFA sabi ko sagutin nyo Mm -hmm. Sagutin niyo yung sinasabi ng China kasi hindi naman mag, hindi naman napag-usapan yan. Wala sa kasunduang yung uh, prior notice na yan at wala yung on-site na verification uh, agreement. Yes. Sorry to press, ano? Oh, Asek, yun na. Uh, yun ang lilinawin ko, Asek. Yung mga detalyeng yun, wala sa provisional agreement. It was not even proposed. Tama ba yun? It was proposed. It the, the 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 Chinese side was insisting on it, no. But of course, we did not agree. Kasi tayo when we came. Mal it, malinaw ba asek na we did not agree? Kasi kung pinag-usapan yun, hindi kaya lost in translation yun. Paano no, magumalong no, no. ganon lang kayo kala nila okay na? <laughs> no no no. Oh, no I'm, I'm not kidding. Kasi eh, ma mahirap yun kanya na. Eh. Ah, ah, bakit ganon nagka medyo malaking hindi pagkakaintindihan yun asek? That's Paano why we. Can... Number one, there was an exchange of notes. Okay, so hmm. hindi pwedeng sabihin ng China na ganun. There was an exchange of notes uh, between both parties. So this hmm. was mentioned by the DFA na kung sakasakaling we are pushed to the wall, uh, pwede natin ilabas to. But right now, we are hmm. we are committing because we committed to not to disclose to the public the details. Hindi mo na natin idalabas. But hmm. uh, I would like to assure the public kasi nga, uh, merong mga uh, spekulasyon na hindi daw nagkasundo. Nagkasundo po. It okay. was a long mm -hmm. discussion. Um, uh, it was a long discussion between both parties at nagkasundo uh, to some sort of arrangement para hindi na ma-obstruct yung ating uh, resupply sa Ayungin Show. Okay, could it be ADG Malaya that what China has phrased as a magpapaalam or will notify them kung may resupply mission? Could it be na uh, yung akala na China na ganun, eh, if we go back to the press conference of Executive Secretary Bersamin, na ang, Bersamin. mas ang ginamit na word is, we will announce. Technically, mm -hmm. it's not magpapaalam, but we will announce when we will do our resupply mission. <laughs> you know, Patrick, gusto na kitang sagutin, pero <laughs> uh, it, I cannot disclose it eh, because it was part of the agreement and I do not have the authority to disclose what was agreed upon. Ito na lang, no? Because we were also trying to find out why why is China saying this, no? Na hindi naman yun ang napag-usapan. And our conclusion is that they do not want to lose face to their public, no? Remember, the domestic audience in China is important to them. So uh, they're spinning this uh, with full knowledge of what actually happened in the negotiations so that in front of the public, they can say, 
na ito yung ininsist namin ito, no? And then very vague lang yung references to uh, the things that were actually agreed upon. So, um, you know, it's not good that these things are happening because very clear yung need for sincerity in these negotiations and the fact na nagkasundo nga, uh, what's okay. critical of course is the implementation. <coughs> now, uh, we are cautiously optimistic. Okay. Ko, uh, the proof Yusek, of eh. the pudding will okay. be in the eating. Ga Let's give the uh, okay. agreement a opportunity to be implemented on the ground. Okay. Pag nagrores, pag nagrores mission time. Okay, ganito na lang Yusek. Uh, my, so, my, my exactly my naman is, ano, ano agreement? Ah. Okay, my impression, Yusek, eh, what? But, sorry, no, uh, uh, me, uh, Ron. My impression na lang, uh, Yusek, is this, ano? Um, did June 17 have a sobering effect on both sides, on both the Philippines and, and China that, uh, you know, that, that, that we have this agreement, this provisional agreement, as the DFA would, would phrase it. Uh, was June 17 a really, uh, did it scare both sides, China and the Philippines, that something could have actually happened in June 17? na puto lahat ay mga uh, internet uh, connections natin. China, China yon. <laughs> Ikot talaga. <laughs> Sila may ari na zoom eh, no? <laughs> Saka nila yung zoom. But you have to appreciate Bok, ano, how, ano, that's why it's yeah. always go to interview uh, ADG Jonathan Malaya. Uh, he's very prudent in answering. He's very prudent, but he answers July. questions. Ano, yeah. He answers. And he's less prone to dropping a... Uh, uh, three, no, wrong words. <laughs> <laughs> like accident or a misunderstanding. Anyway, for the information of our viewers, uh, naputol yung uh, internet connection with uh, AMI and, uh, and ADG Malaya. So we'll try to reconnect. Uh, in the meantime, box here. Okay, yun sana itatanong ko, saan ang gagaling yung optimism ng Philippine government? No? Dahil from, from our vantage point, pag pumayag ang China sa kahit anong agreement, no? na ina-undermine yung kanilang nine-dash line, ina-undermine yung kanilang claim sa ayungin, hindi lang ito saving face sa kanilang mga tao. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yan ay magmamarka na parang opening yan eh, na tinatanggap nila yung ating unclos decision na yung nine-dash line ay hindi pwede. Ano, ang, ang, ang argument kasi ng China... Amin yung ayungin. It's indisputable oh, as far as I'm well, concerned. Yung, yung BRP Sierra Madre is intruding into our yeah. territory. Ro Ronald, uh, uh, we, 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 we read the transcript of the mm. statement made by the vice, by the spokesman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China. Mm. Uh, uh, to, be, to answer your question, you know, yeah. ito, ito, ganito pagkaka-phrase nila. Eh, no? mm. I'm sure this is diplomatis. No? Mm. Uh, when they were asked by the reporters about the agreement, Ang unang, ang unang response ng uh, spokesman ng Ministry of Information is to insist that Ren, and Ren Ao no, is theirs. Yeah, yeah. Sa amin yan, mm. we're enforcing our, our territorial rights, okay? But we're willing to de-escalate tension. Mm. Doon pumapasok yung agreement na yun. Yes. So Pero, everything is always phrased with, this is ours. Yes. And I think it's not very far from... From the pronouncement or statements that you saw from the that we heard from the president yesterday in yesterday, so on and on, everything is always praised with, we won't give an inch. Mm -hmm. That is our maritime rights. Pero may de-escalation of tension palagi dun sa huli. I guess you're just playing. Both yeah. sides are playing to to the home audience at least, no? Yes, pero yun nga. Ano ang interpretation ng China? You will still ask permission from us. Yun yung kwan. Pwede yung ating government, mm -hmm. FYI. For your information, pero hindi asking permission. So ganon yung magiging spin ng right. both sides. Right. Ano sabi ko? Kasi remember yung press conference si ES Bersamin na sabi niya, we will announce para maiwasan yung mga. Pero bakas sa messaging sa images, bakak malugi tayo eh. Dahil nandun yung specter ng secret gentleman's agreement. Pare, pare, pare. Which is spin niya ng mga detractors ng gobyerno na. Oh, eh, binabalatan nyo yung secret right, uh, right, agreement. Right. Ito oh. rin yun eh, di ba? Right. Yun, well, yun yung, yun well, yung doon tayo medyo dehado. <laughs> Kaya siguro ayaw in this, ilabas yung detalye. Hindi, <laughs> 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 ang problema, yeah, ang problema na unang naglabas yung China. 
parang nalagay ka sa spot ngayon, di ba? Ikaw hindi ka naglalabas eh. Dahil nga uh, dapat uh, ako niya eh, secret eh. And, well, well, China's biggest sore point is uh, the delivery of construction materials. Mm. Doon sa mga, they were very explicit. The spokesman was saying, dapat walang mga dahil, construction dahil materials. Dahil lang tingin nila, without the construction materials, guguhu, guguhu, eh. guguhu yan. No? Diba? Guguhu, guguhu yan. yan no? At, uh, now, uh, what, are what are the chances that right now that's no longer a deal breaker for the Philippine side mm. because yung pagdala ng construction materials, what are chances na okay na yun sa Pilip, uh, they will give into that because, na ano na eh, nagawa na yung <laughs> Mier Pisera Madre, the, all the repairs that need to be done have been done and finished. What yeah. are the chances? Baka ganun. Well, so in a way, uh, it, it, ano, uh, the Philippines does not lose, a, you know, is not giving in any position because of already... Pero yung, yung Chinese foreign ministry statement, uh, may qualifier sa, dun sa, dun sa construction materials. And I think it's a, it's a new qualifier that we have not seen before. Okay. Ang sabi ng Ministry of Foreign Affairs nila, Third, if the Philippines were to send large amount of construction materials, <laughs> may qualifier na large so amount. So pwede yung hindi na, <laughs> hindi na yung bako. <laughs> hindi na whatever construction materials. Pero uh -huh. a large amount, which of course is subjective, hmm. That's the first time I've seen some yeah. uh, that, that kind of a qualifier. Uh, rugby, pwede. Mm. Scotch tape, pwede. <laughs> pwede. Oh, Pako. Pako bakya, pwede. Hindi ka Elmer's gulong nga. Huwag lang yung mga steel beams or whatever. I don't know. Huwag lang cement mixer siguro. Ganun. Baka nga. Bo. But it's, it's, a, it's a new yeah, qualifier. Right, 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 I've never right. seen that qualifier ang, before. Basta ang labanan dito, ang busto ng China ay kung hindi nila matoto, hindi natin ito-to away yung BRP siya, Ramadre. Gumuho. Gumuho na. Mm -hmm. Ang ating, uh, Kwan, ang ating posisyon ay pag gumuho yan, mawawalan tayo ng uh, claim mm -hmm. dahil mm -hmm. presence is very important. Pero kung diba? paunti-unting Elmer's glue, <laughs> tsaka rugby yan, <laughs> baka mapatagal pa yung buhay ng, ano na yan, ng uh, BRP Sierra Madre. Siguro ganun. Oh. And I know, there, there, there was a part there in the statement book that they will allow food supplies yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for oh, humanitarian yeah. reasons. That, 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 that yeah, yeah. So, kasi, I remember the last time, ang, ang fear ng Philippine side is, balak gutumi na yung mga sundalo. De, actually, para, actually, yung last na incident, na. Ang, uh, ang pinagtatalunan doon, yung uh, ano, desalination right, machine. Eh. Right. Dahil pag nawala yung desalination machine, mawamatay mm -hmm. yung mga sundalo natin. Yun, no? Okay, Bok, bumalik na sila. Uh, tayo lang may problema, hindi sila. <laughs> Let's bring back our okay. pamintuan and ADG uh, Jonathan Malaya, sir. Ah, nag-priest, nag-priest ulit. <laughs> Baka wala kayong load kayo. <laughs> China, sabi ko nga sa'yo, China. <laughs> also, for, for, for the information of everybody, ah, uh, Pag iyong EEZ, if it's your EEZ, mm -hmm. you're actually allowed by UNCLOS to build artificial islands. To build an EEZ. outpost. I think the word is outpost, right? No, oh. e even artificial islands. Artificial islands and outposts. Structures, structures, right. Kung sa'yo yung EEZ. Hmm, kung sa'yo yung EEZ. Pero ang sinasabi nga ng China, hindi lang sa kanila yung EEZ, territorial water. Territorial water. Well, that's the Chinese oh, position. Oh, oh. But it's also important to know that even from, from our own arguments, from our own side, uh, he, illegal, yung, ano, illegal yung BRP Sierra Madre doon. Oh. Pero yung yan yung gray area, eh. Kat katulad ng hindi natuloy yung joint uh, exploration dahil yung uh, agreement dapat 60-40. Mm -hmm. Pag pumayag ang China ron, we mawiwikin yung kanilang uh, claims. Right. No? Kaya uh, nung simula, for propaganda purposes, sasabihin nila, okay sa amin yan, 60-40. 60 sa inyo, 40 sa amin. Pero sa dulo, hindi, it never happened. Who backed out of the deal, Ronald? Wala. Ang sabi ni Secretary Teddy Boy Luxin ay uh, uh, hindi, hindi natuloy yung mga meetings. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi ng China, kausap po yung Ambassador Zhao, ang sabi niya ay uh, dinribol ng Philippine government, dinribol ng uh, Secretary of Energy Kusi, dinribol ni Secretary Teddy Boy Luxin yung deal. Kaya hindi siya nag-prosper. Because that, that deal, if it had pushed through, I, I saw the, the draft agreement, if that had pushed through, that would have been good for us, right? Well, kung 60-40 yung mm. agreement, no? Even uh, at 50-50, Ronald, because we basically said na, ano, na it's not Chinese territory and China would have also tacitly admitted that. 50-50 kasi medyo controversial yan dahil it's about control, eh. Mm -hmm. no? Kaya kailangan may majority, may minority, no? Uh, Kaya, ayun, kaya tinanong ko si Secretary Teddy Boyd, ano nangyari? No? <laughs> sa, paano, utos uh, ng presidente so yun eh. We don't know. We don't utos know. ng presidente right. yun eh, uh -huh. di ba? Ayun, ayun po yung BRP Sierra Madre. Anong tingin niya, Bok? Uh, 
Kaya ng rugby yan. Kaya ng rugby. Para remedyo. I think another thing that needs qualification is the President's statement yesterday or last night na uh, uh, hindi ka tangisip ang West Philippines si mm. Itoy Atin. Mm. Uh, ang medyo... You can really say Itoy Atin uh, well, well, literally. Ka ka kanina sabi, nat natigil siya doon eh. He caught himself. <laughs> Pero uh, a while ago, ADG Malay was saying that uh, you know the Chinese statement from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, was directed as, at the Chinese audience. Well, you can say the same about the president's speech at the sauna yesterday. Mm -hmm. There is a domestic audience that you need to mm. placate or... Uh, diba? Ala, okay. Uh, <laughs> na, na ano tayo? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Meeting na. Uh, okay. Sorry, we, Pero si Ami, wala in. rin. We cannot bring in any more ADG Malaya. Oh, he yeah, has yeah. to go to a meeting uh, already. So, so ganun yun, Ronald, diba? Uh, you know, there's, there's something that you do uh, when you meet through diplomatic means or in diplomatic channels, but you know the statements to the public, to your home audience will always be different. Well, uh, you can only spin it so much. Mm -hmm. Dahil bottom line, lalabas yung agreement, eh. di ba? Hindi yes, naman pwedeng yes, permanente yes. secret yan. Eh. Mm -hmm. At dun mo makikita yung fine print, yung mga details. Halimbawa, magpapaalam ba o hindi? Ano ba yung pwedeng dalhin o hindi? Mag-a-announce. No. Mag-a-announce. Yeah. Hindi diba? <laughs> so, so, so eventually, pwedeng sa simula, ma-spin mo. Ito yung aming interpretation. Ito yung inyong interpretation. Pero sa dulo, makikita yan eh. Yeah, but Ron, what, what's... what's uh, is there something wrong with that? If this will allow uh, both sides to de-escalate the tension hmm. and then at the same time uh, allow diplomacy to kick in? Well, una, may problema tayo sa de-escalation dahil yung teritoryo natin yung pinasok eh. So, what are you Easy. going... Oh. Easy. So, what are you going to de-escalate? Ang i-de-escalate mo ba yung pag-supply mm -hmm. ng construction materials? Ang i-de-escalate mo ba... Small amounts pa eh. No? So, <laughs> ang, ang tanong dyan, what are we de-escalating? No? Yung China, madali eh. No? Yung ibig sabihin, pag sinabing de-escalation on the Chinese side, madaling uh, maunawaan. Ibig sabihin, hindi nila tayo iaharas. No? Tayo, anong ibig sabihin natin ng de-escalation so from what, our side? What, what, uh, what, what approach, <laughs> what should the Philippine side have done or insisted on? Well, ang uh, sabi kasi nila rito, na pressure yung China na umupo dahil nga yung transparency uh, uh, pandito, That incident in June 17? Transparency. Hindi lang. Yung mga previous events, nakita ng mundo yung aggression ng China. Mm -hmm. Kaya, Ibig sabihin, kaya nga lagi natin inuulit eh, yan yung weak point ng China. Yung image sa kanila ng mundo dahil uh -huh. pwedeng tamaan yung kanilang economy. So they have to sit, sit down as a pressure point. Ngayon, ibang usapin kasi kung magpapakita sila na sila ay reasonable, sila ay willing to sit down, willing to negotiate. Ibang usapin kung babawiin nila yung kanilang claims na territorial waters at saka EEZ. Yun yung ibang usapin yun. At kung... Tingin ko, maingat ang China dyan eh. Dahil pag nalagay yan sa fine print, gagamitin niya natin. What, what you're saying is we could have played hardball and gotten what? Well, uh, uh, hindi naman hardball. Pero dapat uh, uh, you negotiate from a position of strength. At ang ating position of strength ay yung mundo nakikita yung ganitong aggression at yung simpatsya sa atin. Yeah. So yun what, yung, what should yun we have gotten yun yun out of this BCM, this bilateral consult consultation mechanism what should we have gotten out of it kasi i mean i i i guess it would have been too much for us to expect na at that meeting eh sasabihin ng china oh sige hindi na amin yan mm hindi hindi oh, oh. hindi ang uh, ang kwang kasi diyan ay pag manage ng confrontation mm -hmm. di ba pag i-resupply so, natin haharangin tayo magkakaroon ng confrontation papayagan na raw yeah. basta hindi large amount of construction <laughs> 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 materials yun yung, yun yung, <laughs> kaya nga interesado ako makita yung fine print eh mm. what was agreed upon no na not at liberty pa si Yusek Malaya na sabihin. Could it be coordination mm. short of uh, Inform asking permission? Uh, yes. Hindi, sabi ko nga, baka FYI eh. Oo nga. <laughs> Kasi if you go by ano, uh, ES Bursa means uh, word, mm. no? it's announced. Mm. Like kung FYI, what if China says no? Mm. Kahit FYI siya. Hindi uh, nag-break na, na uli nag -break yung... Nag-break ulit yun. Oh, nag-break ulit yung usapan. So, 
Tapos may on-site vetting. Oo. Magbe-break. As, as claimed by China, may on-site Uh-oh. vetting. Oo. Mm. Ibig sabihin, pa- pa- para, para sa... sa eh, check namin, ano ba yan? No? Para papasok ang SM. <laughs> check muna yung... Then, then, then there would have been, like you said, a break in the agreement Uh-oh. again. And, uh, parang yung but pan. we've seen that happen before. Kasi, parang yung Scarborough. Uh-oh. May agreement doon na sabay na atras. Uh-huh. Eh, hindi pala in good faith yun siya. Tayo lang umatras. So, naiwan sa kanila yung Scarborough. So, yun yung mga kwaleto eh. Dahil mahalaga rito yung uh, mutual trust. Good faith. Kaya nga, ang tatanong ko kay Yusek Malaya, saan ang gagaling ang inyong optimism? Mm-hmm. Knowing na ganito ang China. Ganito yung position nila. Well, from the Chinese point of view, no, uh, uh, Ronald, no, they, they also accuse us of uh, bad faith. Kasi may, <laughs> may gentleman's agreement daw <laughs> na hindi sinunod. Ganon. Uh, uh, yun. Ha? Uh, <laughs> But it also makes you wonder what uh, what we propose or what we push for in terms of what we can bring to Sierra Madre. If the Chinese are now willing to uh, to uh, to let pass uh, construction materials that are not in large amounts. <laughs> <laughs> no, Operation. Be, 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 because, because it, 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 is, it, is, it is a qualifier that's never yeah. come, out, ca- yeah. come out before. Right. Eh? And now you have that. So, and it's significant. It, it, because for the first time, Pwede pala, basta hindi, mar- hindi, hindi malaki o hindi marami. Mm. <clears throat> Ang tingin ko, kung lang eh, it's basically backpedaling after nung tension sa Ayungin last month na pumasok yung usapin ng Mutual Defense Treaty. No? So, uh, parang ito ay mitigation lang eh. Tingin ko, duda ako kung makakaroon talaga ng agreement. Parang ito ay uh, PR job, no? minamanage lang. Pero I doubt kung China papasok sa isang agreement mm-hmm. na napapayagan tayo na, na, mag, na mag-resupply na, with their consent. Well, they will allow food, mm. sabi nila, and other basic necessities. Mm. Not large amounts of construction <laughs> materials. Ano nga, ang at stake sa construction material ay, is the survival of BRP Sierra Madre itself. Pag hindi, pag hindi ka nag, na, nagkuha ng mag-aayos ng nangangalawang na barko na yan, at least WD-40, no? ispraya mo. No? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Anti-rust. 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 Di, anti-rust. <laughs> okay, so salt water, no, no? Uh, corrodes, yeah. metal fast, yeah. right? No? If you see... Ano, yung Ang mga... China kasi magaling yan sa waiting game. Eh. Ang tingin hmm. nila, we can outweight you. Hmm. Hindi naman nagbabago amin hmm. gobyerno. Wala naman kami eleksyon. Kayo may eleksyon. Baka mamaya, manalo uli yung Duterte. Balik tayo doon sa secret agreement. No? So, they will outweigh you. Katulad ng ginagawa nila sa Taiwan. Di ba? May mga pro-China at saka anti-China na naglalaban. Mm-hmm. At merong regular na election every three, four years. No? So, ang tingin ng uh, China, we can wait. No? We can wait. Ganun din sa atin, we can wait. No? Hanggang gumuho, Ante, hanggang ano? gumuho yung BRP <laughs> Sierra Madre. Okay, Bok, we just need to take a break. Uh, we start going to be right back in a few minutes.
You're watching the Story Conference. I'm Patrick Pius. I'm Edling Gao, and still with us, uh, Tito Ronald Llamas, and I think we have as well uh, Ami Pamintuan on the line. Ami, are you there? By, pat, by phone pad sa ko, by phone pad. Uh, by phone pad, so oh, but sa pamamagitan ng telepono, kasi hindi ka ta nagbayad ng internet. <laughs> Tayro eh. Tayro may diferensya yung sa atin. Malakas sa hangin dito. Baka mas malakas sa hangin. Ah, mahangin dyan. O yun ang hinanap kong hangin. Mahangin doon sa Paranaque. Palabasa sa Portela kasi walang hangin eh. Okay. Anyway. Doon tayo kanina doon sa usapin ng West Philippines. And yung usapin ng ano na each leader is catering to his own home crowd. But I suppose even last night si Bongbong Marcos was also catering to his own crowd. When he said na atin ito, it's not exactly the most, uh, it's not exactly well qualified. It's more like, atin ang kayamanang nandito, hindi atin tong teritoryo nito. There was, there, was, there was tough talk, there was strong talk, oh, we'll and then waver. you end with de-escalate. Oh. Right? So, oh. we'll may, may ano yan eh, w w w one of my favorite uh, geopolitical historians, a former journalist, mm -hmm. he has a very quote which I think we should find very useful, see Robert Kaplan, he said that, Leaders are honest to each other, they lie to their own people. So, may, 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 may ganun, di ba? <laughs> the lying happens when you're communicating, sometimes to your own people. We're not saying they're lying, but you know, there's something that you have to tell your own people. The motherhood statements are told to your own people. Yeah, they're lying. Hindi naman. Sabi lang natin na, siyempre, di ba? Motherhood statements, right? It's a speech. It's meant to rouse. It's meant to rouse emotions, gano'n. But when you're back-channeling and negotiating with another country, for example, when it has to be diplomatic, then... You think you're telling the truth when you're back-channeling? Tsaka, antihin mo, nandito yung shadow. You've done back-channeling. Nandito yung shadow, yeah. There's something you communicate to the public. There's another thing that you communicate to the other side. In reality, you're not dealing with them in a vacuum. You are dealing with these forces, alimbawa, China, and sa context ng there are other superpowers at play. Diba? There are other forces outside of our country at play. At uh, tingin ko yung unsaid dito ay nag -e exert din ng influence yan dito sa ganitong klaseng diplomatic talks. Hindi, hindi talaga tayo purely solo yung ganito mga negosasyon. Uh, at yun usually yung unsaid. Halimbawa, ano bang, ano bang influence ng mga Amerikano? dito sa usapan na ito. Right. Di ba? Ano bang uh, influence dito ng uh, Japan, Australia, no? yung trilateral na sinasabi natin, kakabuo lang. So, may mga ganong factors. Pero yan, usually, hindi na pinag-uusapan. It's just there. The shadow of the, tawag nila, the great game. Yun. Okay. <laughs> Ami, nandiyan ka pa? <laughs> Tanong na lang namin, Ami, uh, anong, anong balita ng Philippine Star? Anong malaking balita ng Philippines, sir? Dagdagang, dagdagang ko lang yung sinabi nyo kanina about the Togos. Nag-apologize na daw si Alice Goa. Nagpadala daw ng sulat kay Senate President Jesus Cudero na nagsosorry. Ewan ko kung ano yung sinosorry niya. Hindi siya makasipot doon. Kaya ang sabi daw ni Chief, na hindi niya tinatanggap apology na accepted. Kailangan daw magpakita siya ron. Pero walang binabangit si Alice Go kung magpapakita nga siya. At tapos, siyempre, lahat ng economic managers, they are saying, or si Ibneda, sabi niya, <laughs> eh, minimal impact daw ah, ang, ang, sa economy, ang pagsasara ng Pogo. Of course, that's not what the um, court chief is saying. Mawawalan daw tayong 22 to 23 billion a year. Well, sa, sa direct revenues, uh, yeah. hindi eh. Kasi the biggest uh, direct revenue we got from uh, the Pogos was in 2022 at uh, uh, 9.2 billion. Uh, direct revenues, of course, hindi kasama yung mga incidentals like yung, yung rentals and all that. Pero yung, yung direct revenues or direct remittances to PAGCOR and to BIR. Uh, iba pa yung incidentals eh. Pero may ibang computation doon ng DOF. Doon sa 
sa sa oh. pros and cons sa at uh, sabi ng DOF dun sa sa hearing eh mas malaki di hamak by 90 almost 90 billion yung uh, yung cons yung net loss with the pogos loss from what no. uh, everything from ano from uh, potential investors uh, i don't know how they computed it nga eh yeah. uh, kasi ng, para naman pupuntahan ng, tayo ng investors eh ang laki ng numbers eh potential oh, oh. triads na mag-invest <laughs> iba pa yun diba? <laughs> from potential investors and uh, tourism losses because of uh, no uh, because of the presence of the pogos as well pati yung ano sinam sa computations yung yung uh, cost of uh, law enforcement the because of the pogo uh, pogo crime uh, really uh, pogo related crime i don't know how they come, came up with the numbers pero nga they presented the numbers in uh, in a hearing i think in the Senate, uh, in congress oh, that's just weird the assumptions no, that they made about <laughs> i don't know the <laughs> pero, potential uh, investors very specific law enforcement. Eh. In, oh. in these around numbers eh, uh, something point exactly, something exactly, billion exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's quite interesting actually how they came up with the numbers. Because I know that the direct foreign investment, even without POGOS, have always been problematic in the Philippines. And there are other reasons other than POGOS, Candy Tayo, Pinupunta ng mga investors. Number one, I think it's walang kuryente. Malaki problema kuryente. Bukod sa mahal, wala pa. So, Alibaba, Vietnam, may surplus. Right. Kuryente, tsaka mura pa. Oo. So, marami mag-invest sa manufacturing at tsaka industry. Right. Oo. Not not here. Ngayon pa lang, Ease of doing Patay business. Patay na yung ulitin. Patay na aircon natin. Oh. Eh, meron ulit eh. Ayun, nagwagalan ulit oh. Oh. Ease of doing <laughs> business. Wala. Right. Dahil, right. sa atin, ang daming pipirma eh. Mm-hmm. Nain pipirma eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Nain pipirma, tapos bawat pipirma, may tongpats. May muyengi eh, di ba? I heard that in a while. Also rin, okay, so, so yung, yung, yung period na revenues from Pogo sa, uh, yun nga, uh, na, nasa 9 billion na biggest uh, in 2022. Pero ang expected, ang um, projected revenue ng DOF from Pogos after they passed 11, uh, RA 11590, yung the law taxing Pogos, they were projecting a uh, revenue intake of 32 billion per year. The biggest we've gotten is only a third of that. A third, okay. So, yun, dun pa lang, ano sila parang, we're not getting what we expected and what we wanted. Oh, but there's more than that than just taxes, book, but there's uh, rentals of uh, office yeah, places. Yeah, yun yung ano, yun uh, yung Rentals yung, of homes, uh, services, real food, estate. Uh, real estate. Mm. Uh, sabi nga nila, one of the jokes that immediately came out after uh, the president announced a ban on Pogos was na, mumura na rin Toyota Alphard. Ito yung luxury <laughs> ban ng Toyota, di ba? Oh, oh. Mumura na mamasa ng peso. Hindi lang kidnap eh. Ayun. <laughs> Social mo pang kita. So pipiliin nyo dapat kung ano yung gamitin nyo. Pag kinukuha, sakay ka agad eh. Dati high ace lang eh. Dati nga tama raw lang eh. Yun na yung bagong high ace nyo eh. Yung sa kondo ko nga, dati eh. Lagi puno yung elevator eh. Ng mga pogo workers eh. Ngayon, wala na. They have, ano, decreased significantly since pandemic. Even before this controversy. Hindi lang. Yung offensive din ng China. Hmm. Dahil uh, binisyuhan yung mga kwana yan, yung mga nationals nila. Kung hindi kayo bumalik at this time, no, ikakancel namin ang pogo nyo. At uh, yung unsaid, iaharas namin yung mga kamag-anak pamilya, nyo. Pamilya nyo. No? So marami nagbalikan. <laughs> Talaga ano eh. Oh, marami nagbalikan. Ha? Siguro yung mga, nag- yung mga nanatili dito, yung gusto na mag-migrate. Uh-huh. And those torture uh-huh. chambers apparently, yun din ang dahilan. Ano? Hmm. Kung... Uh, Kumanta yung mga kamag-anak nyo doon, hindi magbayag, gugulpihin namin yung mga kamag-anak nyo dito. Oh, yun ang ano, yun ang kwento ni, ano, ni oh, Yusek uh, ransom, Gilbert Cruz. May ransom, may ransom. Yun ang nangyayari doon. Kaya nga ang hirap na partial ban. Dahil gagamitin yung partial para makalusot sila. Kaya kinakailangan mong total para mas mahirap magtago, mas mahirap magpumunta underground. Pero kung kung dati na ano, na hirap na yung gobyerno hanapin yung mga illegal mm-hmm. uh, na pogo kahit nandiyan silang naka nakabalandra, for example sa mm-hmm. sa sa Tarlac at sa sa Porac, uh, paano kung ngayon, ngayon lahat sila illegal? <laughs> Hindi, pero halimbawa nakita naman natin yung infrastructure, no? Mga Ortigas buildings yun nandiyan eh. Paano nila gagawin yun? Uh, Metro Manila yun, oh, isa oh. probinsya. Hindi, uh, eh, kanya na eh, mahirap mo itago in plain sight dahil malalaki eh. Malalaki Nag- Nagawa nila eh. Oh, tapos, yung, yung sa Porak eh, sa mga hektara pero never never registered at all. Oo oh, nga, pero mas problema yan dahil hindi mo alam kung ano yung legal at illegal. No? Ngayon kung lahat ay illegal, pag may nagkukumpol ng na mga iba yung lengguahe, no? 
Pwede mo na kagad i-monitor, no? Pwede mo na kagad i-monitor, no? Yun yung, uh, ang hirap itago. Yeah, so, yung burden true, ngayon ay wala sa law enforcement or gobyerno. Mm -hmm. Yung burden ngayon, nandun sa mga pogo na pupunta underground. Mm -hmm. Dahil malaking bahagi naman nakita dyan ay yung pag-cater sa Chinese market. Mm -hmm. Which means, talagang 90% ng mga tao dyan, Mandarin speaking. Mm -hmm. Yun yung, uh, kaya madali mo makita. Okay. Tanda mo nung 2016, uh, Pilweb pa yung may hawak niya sa lahat ng e-gaming. Mm -hmm. Tapos sa binakbaka ni Tatay Dutz, si, ano, si, si, <laughs> si Ong Pin. Ong Pin, uh, no. uh, eh, Siya yung pinakauna pang in-announce eh. Uh, um, uh, ang at atakihin natin uh, or something, ano, mm. oligarchs. Uh, give an example publicly, mm. Ong Pin, Roberto. Ang problema, yung mga tao niya yung nag-fill ng vacuum. Oh, okay. Sila Michael Yang. Mm. Na siya naman ang naging biggest uh, online game. Eh, teka, baka pa, so, so, uh, so si Ong Pin uh, had PhilWeb and then hindi na na-renew ang lisensya ng PhilWeb for 2016. Actually, binenta niya. Uh, 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 hindi hindi na-renew, tapos he was forced to sell it. Uh, the stocks went down, I yeah. think. He was forced to sell it. You know? He sold it to Gregor Neta. <laughs> Tsaka kay, hindi ko na mabagay din, baka malay ba tayo. Actually, hanggang ngayon eh, hanggang ngayon si Aneta Sil. And, and, you know, I think this year, this year pa lang ata sila makakapag go into the black. Kasi, ano eh, for so many years, nahirapan sila with the children. Limawa, Island Cove. Paano mo itatago yun? Sobrang laki nun. Diba? Island Cove sa Cavite, na Pogo Hub. So, As in, isla talaga yun? Oo, sila talaga ang tatamaan niya. Itong total ban. Ang hirap mag-go uh, underground. Yung sinasabi kasi, pag dinreklamo din illegal, mag-underground lang, hindi ganun kadali. Dahil kwa niya, eh, Mandarin speaking people yan. Eh. No, kwa niya, eh, aangat na parang pako. Diba? Usling pako yan. Eh. Usling pako. Uh, Ay, pinaparapot na tayo. Ay, may, may nangyari sa Cebu. Ah. Gusto yung... <laughs> no, wag na lang. <laughs> oh, sige, wag na lang. <laughs> <laughs> quickly, quickly, oh. bitin, bitin kami, bitin oh. yung mga tao. Oh. Oh. Ano, uh, nung weekend, uh, no, um, uh, may lumabas sa social media na isang influencer na pinagalitan na yung isang waiter kasi oh. hindi siya tinawag, ah, kasi okay. tinawag siyang sir. Oo, oh. isang oras, dalawang oras na lecturean. Dalawang oras na oh. pina, pinatayo at uh, nilecturean ng bata. Hindi, kaya nga kanina, bata, kaya nga kanina, ang tawag ko kay Juan, kay Lord Ibera, sir. <laughs> Kanina. Hinihintay ko lecturer niya ako. <laughs> Hinahintay ko lecturer niya ako kanina. <laughs> kanina, nung nga in-interview niya ako, sir, ang tawag ko sa kanya. Yun. Yun yung context na. Okay, okay sige. <laughs> But I think we, uh, we, we will be having that person who was uh, who was being um, who's controversial controversial right now, social media, because of that incident. I think they're get he he Magkikesa. <laughs> Magkikesa po mamaya sa okay. The Big Story. Si, na ah, si Maharlika, hindi ba natin magkikesa? Mag Ako, si Tari. Paano ka ba exo natin? Halimutan mo na. <laughs> Wala na lumalabas. <laughs> Maraming salamat kay Ami Paminto ng Philippine Star at kay Tito Ronald Lamas ang ating resident political pundit. <laughs> Ako si, ano? Bye-bye! Ako, ako ba si Amin? Amin, mamay ang gabi. Si Manny Moga to, press one, ha? Kami, tsaka si Romel. Mamay ang gabi. Aba! 9.30. No? Ah, umarang nga na naman. O, sige. O, maraming salamat sa inyo at pinagsagaan nyo kami. Slave labor. Okay, we are One News. All sides, all the time.